lot to unpack because of kind of because kind of, of the way it ended. What's your main feeling right now? Disappointment, yeah. Disappointment that we didn't get three points, obviously, because we need them. Um, disappointment that we didn't get a win against the rival for the supporters. Um, yeah, I would say disappointment is the biggest emotion. How much does the, just the goal at the end change you know, how you would have felt had it not gone in? Well, if it wouldn't have gone in, we'd have won and I'd have felt <laughs> elated. So that going in uh, gets a point for them and you know it puts us in a position where we've, we've dropped two points. How did you feel about the performance overall? Good, yeah, I thought we did, did well. We started the game really well in the first five, ten minutes. Um, then they score and you know get get the majority of the game again a little bit. Then I thought we ended the, the off pretty well, you know, and we got a goal, a really good goal. Um, but I don't think it was against the balance of play at that time. I thought we were get, getting back into the game. Second half, we changed the midfield shape a little bit more to give us a bit more um, possession and free Malik up a little bit more to play on the counter attack. And I thought we were really good and probably deserved to go two one in front. And then obviously they, they score at the death. They've had a lot of chances, they put a lot of crosses in the box. Um, we defended really well for the most part of it, but then you switch off for one and you concede and, you know, you've got to hold your hand up and say that's my fault. Uh, the defensive effort, I mean, 15 block shots tonight, guys were putting bodies on the line and Hunter made some really good saves as well. Can you be relatively satisfied with, with what you saw, again, outside of the at time? Yeah, yeah. I, I think, you know, the, the commitment and, and uh, you know, desire to, to go and play the game for, for the shirt and for the, the supports and for the club was great. Um, I'm really disappointed that they didn't get the result but I'm pleased also that the players are disappointed we've played Louisville 22 times and only won five of them so now I'll, I've come in fresh and I think we should compete against all the teams we play against um, obviously there's a there's been a gap there in the past and I think the players showing the disappointment of not getting a win shows you that you know, there have been a lot of teams that play Louisville this season or have played them in the 22 wins that they've had pre previously, who, if they came off with a point, are going, what a great result. And our players are thinking, you know, we've dropped two. So I'm really pleased with that. Augie oh, scored two again tonight. You know, how good is it that he's catching form at the right time? Great, great, really good. Good for him, personally, good for the group. Um, you know, because the goals do change, change games. And I'm really pleased with his overall work ethic. You know, that's, you know, been, been excellent for us. Uh, Two games for you against against Lou City now. I know you, you want to win both of them, but kind of the, the improvements tonight versus the last one, what did you make of it? I think it's probably a bit similar. We defended a little bit better in in, in the, this one than we did the last one. A bit similar there. They're ahead of us. They're ahead of everybody else in the USL. Um, do I think as though we can close the gap? Yes, 100%. Do I think we've probably closed it a little bit since the start of the season? Maybe. Um, so yeah, we, we've got some more work to do though, you know, they're, um, they are where they are because of what they do. With this, with this being a team you could potentially face down the line in the playoffs, what do you take away from a match like this? Obviously if it's a playoff game we now go to extra time and it could, could end in penalties, so you know that's something that we face them, if we have to face them again we'll, we'll know a bit more about them because of tonight and they'll know a bit more about us and you know and we, we have to face what's in front of us at that time. There was a play in the first half where I believe your number 30 uh, was back on the back line, headed a ball out, saved a goal. Do you remember the play? Yeah. Can you speak to that effort? Yeah, great. You know, I mean, the defender's job is to stop the ball going in the net and, you know, he, he went back and, and got himself in position. And at that time, it's really important because at that time they were, they had the momentum and, you know, um, you know, he, he had that responsibility to go and do it. and. It's a really clever play. People look at the goals as clever plays, and, that, and that's just as important. Because if that goes in, you've got to score two to win. You guys have the lead late, and you have you know nine players in the box. Can you just speak to uh, you know defensively? What's the what's the coaching tactics uh, at that point of the game? We have to try and get as many people behind the ball as possible because they're pushing to get the equaliser. Um, if the ball lands somewhere differently and it might land at our feet. I don't think they did a pattern of play that you would see something that we could have stopped defensively. It was all about then emergency defending. Uh, I was just a bit disappointed that the ball came into the box too easily prior to the little scramble that they had. You look at this game and it's kind of considered like a rivalry between the two teams. Do you think that contributed to some of the chippiness, especially early on? No, no. 
I think it's just a f game, two teams trying to compete against each other. Playing a chippy game like this, so close to the postseason, how is a game like this going to help you guys going forward in playoffs? Yeah, I mean, it helps us because we get a point. Um, so I don't know what the other results are, we'll have to look at them. But we've got a big week coming ahead of us, so we can take the confidence of getting a point against what is the champions of the, the league. Um, and running it so close to getting three that we take that into the, the games coming up. What will be your guys' main focus for the coming weeks? Recovery. Is, is, we've got a game on Tuesday and then a game again on Saturday, so we've got to recover really quickly. Uh, and we'll play loud in a way and we've got to try and pick points up. What did you think of Jack's pass that led to the second Augie goal? Yeah, great, great, really, like really good quality. And, and the play before it was good, you know, we had a little bit of a pattern of play. We wanted to get down the outsides of them because they do block a lot of the middle of the field with the system of play they have. Uh, once we got around the outside and, and Jack put the quality in, it's a great finish. There was a little skirmish right in front of you uh, at the end of the first half. Yeah. It was pretty far away for us to see. Can you talk a little bit about what happened there? Well, the guy, kick the ball into the bench. Not very nice, is it? Yeah, that's, there's no other thing that happened other than he kicked the ball, whether he's on the field or off the field, there was an intent to kick the ball into the crowd, which should have been a bookable offence. Now it's not, and you know, decisions go for and against you all the time, but I would say that that was done intent to, to, to put the ball into our bench. No, thanks to the supporters actually, you know, to get behind us for all that time, just disappointed we didn't give them the win. Like I said, we've only had five before, it would have been really nice to get that, that number to six.